This is our June podcast, Capital Market Economic Review, and I've got the red shirt on. It is a couple days before 4th of July, and the brightness maybe will bring some brightness to you. Um, but anyway, and I even have a haircut still. So have a um, let's get to it, and we'll, we'll hopefully have a good uh, pod, co- podcast review. Now I'm up in the corner, and I'll keep this one shorter because you've got a um, – got a pretty long newsletter, um, the prior post, but I had a lot of neat stuff that I wanted to go over. Those of you that are in listen-only mode or driving, don't take your hands off the wheel. I always say that. I get a kick out of it. I make my own self laugh. Um, going to review a couple of things and then talk about the markets as promised in the newsletter in the last post. The virtual pivot, This in this, in those of you that are listening I in listen-only mode, I am highlighting over um, the link to where... A post earlier. This is amazing. The actually the virtual pivot. <clears throat> I kept the, the heading, and because it was a virtual pivot for uh, seminars and things of that nature, and then the virtual pivot for us. Found this very interesting this month. Us as workers, that 98% of the people want to do some sort of virtual work in the future. Not surprising. Very not not surprising. Just how fluid this has worked. Uh, done tons of go-to Zoom meetings and uh, seems to be, uh, everybody seems to be a little bit forced in, but we're all accepting it. Next up, actually, this was a timely review of this. Uh, those of you that are listening, I am uh, going to the TSA. Here's the link to the post that was this month stumbling around on a weekend. I found, let me see if I can get, there we go. I've got to try this differently. Um I found the uh, statistics. Didn't you know they had TSA throughput statistics? Here's what those are. That's how many people are coming through the TSA lines. Here is, those of you that are listening, I'm looking at a graph that I created. We're going to slap our logo up and take credit that we created. Um, Excel makes this pretty straightforward to do. But here are the the line of about um, 2.5 million people per day last year, a year ago. And I found this very interesting um, in that this is what happened, and this is starting, my, my chart, those of you that are listening, is starting in March, and it's dropped down, and it's starting to come up. Now, I had another chart in the actual post, which can be found here, that kind of it, it expanded on this. The reason I um, am reviewing this, and actually it was a good thing that I did, because the spreadsheet ended up in the recycle bin, which I pulled out. I want to see how this tracks, um, and see if this continues. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll relate back to that um, here in just a second as well. Okay. On to market comments, um, we've had a little bit, and this relates to the prior articles. Well, we've had some flare-ups uh, locally and in, in our area uh, where Donald is, um, hot spots in the country. Capital markets took notice, this is rightfully so, because uh, another lockdown would extend the period that we're looking through, and there's a lot of uncertainties. The basic theme of this, and I went ahead and pulled a lot of different indexes in. This is a lot of different global indexes. So I love this Coifin product that we've been testing, but a lot of different um, global entities, and they're down anywhere from 5 to 20%, depending on which ind- index you're looking at. Um, you can find more. You can find some that are less. But we're going to, if we have a resurgence, we're going to, it's, it's going to uh, likely uh, put a little bit of wind out of the sails, if we have if we have good news on the sales of the markets, if we have good news on an antivirus or virus or something of that nature, then it's likely to be a tailwind. And so um, expect bumps and headline shocks, both positive and negative. That's why we're conservative investors at our heart. But just expect bumps. It's not going to be smooth sailing. It's going to be bumpy. I will say this. I had some talks with some longtime friends yesterday. Should we go back into a situation where where we were in the in the March April timeframe, the sequel is usually not as scary as the original, and hence the reason the sequel has to be more aggressive. The the sequel for a scary movie. Um, I don't want to go back. I don't think anybody wants to go back into it. But if we have to for the safety of everyone, hopefully market participants um, will understand what's out on the other side. Um, but I, it, I do expect it to be bumpy. 
Uh, and also, we might be, in all likelihood, we're, li we're pricing in a lot of positivity. Uh, we're at the end of the month. We're at the end of the quarter. So there's there's what's called markups. That means people mark up their uh, investments to try and make them look better because they're, they're end of the quarter, end of the month. So that can we can lead to a little bit of a breathing out once this is all over, once we get through. Uh, and it's summer. It is summer. Now, I know a lot of people are not taking their regular vacations, but um, – so capital markets are, I'm not going to call them, I hear turmoil and all of this. Let's call it bumpy. That would be, that's a, that's a more bumpy and, and reaction to the headlines. Okay, enough. I, I promised you I was going to talk about that. Uh, and again, you, you know, that would affect, uh, I'm back up at the TSA, if we have some sort of a additional grounding or something of that. This is a neat chart, this TSA chart. I said I was going to come back to, to see how many people, I'm going to update this frequently. I'm not going to do it every day, but maybe every couple of months or a month or so like that because it's such a neat chart and uh, will give us an idea on how and when the uh, economy opens. So those of you that are listening and still have your hands on your wheel, I thank you very much for this. I'm actually going to put a little picture of, I've had a few people ask me how I do this and I'll put a little picture of what this looks like on how I do this um, in my uh, front living room just so you'll see what the, the setup is. It's uh, um, not in the office today. Uh, practicing uh, what we're preaching, which is being said. All right, that's your June uh, review. We thank you very much. Have a good summer. Have a happy 4th of July. That's in a couple of days. Remember, Friday is a day off. Thank you so much. Take care.